huge thank you goes out to our grandma tool nicola pro and drone quote supporting this channel at the all electric tier click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month hey what's going on youtube will here from all electric back again with another video and we are running 2020.36.1.0 in our 2018 model 3 with fsd but i want to give a huge shout out right now to all of you who have recently subscribed in the past couple weeks thank you so much and if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing so this is curvy country road test test number 20 and here's our first turn of this test you can see i'm in rainbow road got some feedback from you guys saying that it was a little bit easier to tell but as always i'm in autopilot if you see that blue steering wheel now that's test number one is was successful this last time we got a red bar identifying that that saw it as an intersection in 2020.28.2. During this whole video, I'm gonna be bouncing back and forth from test number 19 and test number 20. So carrying on the, down this road, and again, I'm in Rainbow Road, just so you guys can see that it is in autopilot, but as always, whenever there's that blue steering wheel on the center display or those two blue lines, I am in autopilot. So the car is driving, I do keep my hands on the wheel. If you're gonna try this out yourself, do as Tesla recommends and keep your hands firmly on the wheel. A sharp right turn followed by this really hard left turn. And I have said in previous videos that I think it's almost too severe and that's why the autopilot is doing takeover immediately. So let's see here because now I'm gonna go and manually slow down the car to 10 miles per hour and you can see there's nobody behind me so I'm able to do that and you can see it says take over immediately and I throw my hands up like what? You can see obviously where the road needs to go but it still says take over immediately. So here's test number 19 running 2020.28.2 and you can see we're approaching the exact same curve. So I do think that this particular curve is too sharp of a turn for autopilot. Like there's barriers built into the software that won't let the steering wheel turn a certain amount. So here you can see I'm getting way too close to the edge over there. So I really think that autopilot is restricted and it only allows it to turn the wheel a certain degree, like left or right. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Okay, so autopilot has been re-engaged and I did turn on Rainbow Road for you guys so it's a little bit easier to see when a disengagement does happen. So previously at this hill crest that we are coming up to that the car oncoming just passed over, it has disengaged here and you can see at this hill crest I do get a takeover immediately. So it does fail right there at the hill crest which is not that severe. Now let's jump back to test number 19 and you can see we get the exact same result where it says take over immediately. So I have seen before where on other hill crests even more severe like a more severe drop down and it did not give me the takeover immediately. So let me know if you guys have experienced that as well on some of those more severe kind of hill crests on these back roads. So here we go, coming up to another pretty aggressive left-hand curve in this first part of the Kirby Country Road Test. And you can see I'm getting way close to that side over there, so I do end up jerking over. And also, look at my speed. I'm going in at 27 miles per hour versus, let's look back at test number 19. I'm already down to 20. 21 miles per hour, 19 all the way down to 18 miles per hour going through that curve versus in test number 20, look at this, I'm going into the curve at 27 miles per hour. So me as a driver, it makes me really uneasy. I gotta see the autopilot system slow down a lot more like any normal human would, especially when I'm giving the control over to an autopilot type of system. So here, like we've seen before, there is a stop sign. It is allowing me. It does recognize that the road kind of goes to the right. But as soon as I engage, it says take over immediately because intersections are not supported. So this T intersection is not supported, just like in 2020.28.2 in the curvy country road test number 19 that you guys saw last time. So autopilot is engaged here. Nothing new with back with that T intersection. I knew that it was going to fail. But of course, I think we're gonna see something in terms of being able to pass through certain intersections, which I'm really excited about with the autopilot refresh coming up and going out to early access program people really soon. So if I am able to get some of that video for you guys, you can be assured that I will be posting some content on that. So a right hand yield there and I'm not able to use autopilot. Again, I hope that comes 
where we get navigate on autopilot on city streets. I'm gonna slow it down here because it is able to identify the railroad crossing and previously it did require an engagement, but it does not require an engagement here. So kind of interesting, it just identifies the stop sign that's coming up. You can see that car way in front of me, there is a stop sign over the speed bump that it is letting me know that is approaching. But uh, so sometimes it's pretty inconsistent as far as when it does and when it does not require uh, acknowledgement to pass over railroad tracks. So here's one of our aggressive right-hand curves in the test, and you're gonna see there's no cars behind me, so I'm able to slow down significantly down to 10 miles an hour. And you can see it first thinks it's an intersection, and then it just says take over immediately. So this curve, just like the curve that we saw early in the test, and we got the same result from test number 19, is too sharp for the autopilot to take. So I really think that if the wheel turns a certain degree, the autopilot system is just going to say take over immediately. So let me know if you guys have experienced something similar down in the comment section below. Really sharp right left hand curve coming up here and the autopilot for the past 10 or so updates have performed beautifully on this curve. You saw we stayed relatively in the center of the lane and it's just awesome. Here's test number 19 in the rain, a little bit dark, and it slows down to 25 and just does a great job in the staying in the middle of the lane there. Relatively straight road here in test number 20, so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. We are able to go plus five miles per hour over, so you see I have that set to 40 miles per hour, mile per hour zone. Oh, double frantic hand wave. I'm still waiting to run into one of you guys in autopilot and give me the double frantic hand wave back. Still waiting on that though. All right, we're gonna slow it down here for this really challenging intersection. It goes to the left, but autopilot wants to steer right into that embankment. So I do have to take over there. So I would have liked to seen it slow down. But now that we're traveling behind this truck with a trailer, you're gonna see just how well autopilot performs when it's following a vehicle. So I'm gonna jump back to test number 19 on a couple of these tests where I wasn't following a car and you're gonna see here, I'm following actually two trucks and you're gonna see just how well autopilot performs. You can see on these minor curves, it's doing a phenomenal job keeping its distance from the truck in front of us, the truck and trailer, and also staying in the center of the lane around these more aggressive curves. So here is a aggressive left-hand curve that kind of goes up and then back down. And let's see how the autopilot performs. We're down to 27 miles an hour following these trucks and it does a beautiful, perfect job. Compare that to going 40 miles an hour where we're not following anybody and I did have to disengage as it got really close to that white hand line on the outside edge. Again, we're slowing down significantly because of the traffic in front of us with this right-hand curve, and it does a beautiful job, I would say perfect, staying in the center of the lane and keeping its distance, whereas this one kind of drifted really close to that double yellow line and made me a little bit uneasy with that oncoming huge truck. So the final curve in this curvy country road test is our left-hand curve, if you're familiar with this test. So let's slow it down here again. We're going 30, 29, 28. You can see autopilot slowing down significantly and it makes that curve a breeze for this autopilot system. Now let's compare that to test number 19 where we're not following anybody. You can see it does still slow down into the curve down to 28, 26 miles per hour. So it is able to pass that curve, but I was a little bit more comfortable when it was following another vehicle. That is it for this test. I really do hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and please push, 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 hit push, push, that push subscribe button. button and I will see you guys in the next one.